Hey, hey friends, it's Corey from Hey Let's Make Stuff, and I'm here with another quick Cricut Design Space tutorial for you. Today we're talking about the weld function in Cricut Design Space. It's found at the bottom of the layers panel on the right, and it has a really important function when it comes to creating files in Cricut Design Space. Let's check out how it works. So the first example I have here is the word lucky and a four-leaf clover. This is actually an image from the Cricut Image Library, um, as well as a four-leaf clover from the Cricut Image Library. This is not text. Um, so right now, if I go to cut this file, um, I'll hit make it up here and click on mat just for this example. You'll see that it puts it on two separate mats because we have two different colors and they're not welded. So let's go back to our canvas here. And to weld this, what you're going to want to do is select both. You can do that by dragging across your images. You can do that by clicking one, holding shift, and then clicking the other image. Or you can go up here to your image uh, or to your layers panel and click both images here as well. So there's a couple ways to select, which is kind of helpful. And then go ahead and click weld down here at the bottom of the layers panel. And you'll see here that it changed to a single image. Um, whatever color is on the bottom is going to be the color that your image turns. So that darker green clover was on the bottom of my image. Um, so you can see here that it turned this darker green. It is now a single cut file image. Um, it's over here under here under just weld result. You won't see the individual images here anymore. And then if you click make it and then go here, you'll see that it's all on one single mat. For this example, let's build a snowman. So I used the shapes tool over here on the left to create three circles. And then I just resized those circles and I made them white and stacked them on top of each other to create the snowman shape. And this is one way to sort of create more than basic shapes here. If you don't have access to the you know, Cricut Image Library or if you don't wanna pay for files, you can create some really interesting shapes using this basic shapes tool over here with all of these free shapes. So I wanna do one thing before we get to just welding this. I wanted to show what happens if you attach it. So right now I have this image attached instead of welded. Um, you may think, hey, this looks good. I've got a snowman, I'm gonna make it. So if you go over here to make it, and you see here that it will actually cut these individual lines and you'll have three pieces of your snowman. Um, and I don't think this is what you actually want. <laughs> um, it will probably actually cut this back line here too, and you'll end up with um, these center images cut out, these sort of I-shaped center pieces. Um, so you definitely don't want to do this. Um, this is why we don't use attach in this image, but I will link to the video about using attach in Cricut Design Space for the um, applications where you might use attach um, down in the uh, description below. So we have our snowman. So instead of attaching, we can detach it here. Let's select it all and then let's weld it. So now we have a snowman shape. It's a single image. You can see over here under the weld result, it's just a single image. And when you go to make it, it will be a single image on your mat. For this final example, I want to talk about using um, script fonts or other overlap, overlapping text. Um, a lot of crafters will go ahead and cut this as is, which means that each of these letters will cut individually and often you'll end up with really chewed up um, t uh, materials here where the letters overlap. But there has been a recent development in Cricut Design Space, so you actually don't need to weld this text. Um, you would need it to every other time up until now, but with the most recent update, it will actually weld all text for you. So if I have this word here, all of these letters overlap. If I click make it over here in the upper right, and put it on my mat, you'll see here that this is one shape. You don't see those overlapping lines um, where the letters overlap. And I've cut this file and it cuts perfectly. And I'm really excited about this update because I think this is a, a step that a lot of people miss and it's vital to getting good letters cut with your Cricut. Now, if for some reason you don't have this update yet, or your letters are for some reason still cutting, you know, being overlapped, you can just so select the word here and then click weld and it will weld your text. Um, one of the nice, um, I'm going to undo this. One of the nice things about um, not having to weld this text means that you can go ahead and make it and then you realize, oh no, I've spelled, you know, love incorrectly. You can go back and fix your text here. I mean, obviously I spelled, <laughs> spelled it correctly here, but you could fix whatever text you have here. Um, and, but if you've welded it, you cannot go back and unweld something. So this is actually an update I'm really excited about. I would love to know in the comments if you have this update um, and what you think about it. I will also mention that this is only on desktop so far. I went ahead and checked on mobile and I couldn't find it on mobile. So I don't think they've released this on mobile yet. Um, but if you're using desktop, this is an awesome update. And that's it. Weld is one of those features that you'll use a lot in your Cricut crafting, so it's good to know how to use it.
If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll be happy to respond. If you have found this quick video helpful, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more quick tips like this. Happy crafting and I'll see you next time.